everyone, welcome to Mental Health Awareness. I am Ashwarya Saxena and in this video I am going to talk about psychological problem in children. Children can experience a wide range of psychological problems and these issues can vary in severity and duration. It's essential to remember that children's psychological well-being can be influenced by numerous factors including genetics, environment and life experiences. Let's talk about some common psychological problems that affect the children. Number 1. Anxiety Disorder Children may develop various anxiety disorders such as generalized anxiety disorder, separation anxiety disorder, social anxiety disorder or specific phobias. These disorders involve excessive worry, fear or avoidance of certain situations. Number 2. Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder ADHD ADHD is characterized by symptoms of inattention, hyperactivity and impulsivity. It can affect a child's ability to focus, stay organized and control their impulses. Number 3. Depression Children can experience depression which may manifest as persistent sadness, irritability, changes in appetite or sleep patterns, loss of interest in previously enjoyed activities and feelings of hopelessness. Number 4. Autism Spectrum Disorder ASD. ASD is a neurodevelopmental disorder characterized by social and communication difficulties as well as repetitive behaviors and restricted interest. Number 5. Behavioral Disorders Conduct Disorder and Oppositional Defiant Disorder are examples of behavioral disorders that involve disruptive and aggressive behaviors, defiance, and rule breaking. There is a part 2 lined up for this particular topic of psychological problems in children. So do not forget to subscribe the channel because the part 2 will be coming soon on the same channel in the same playlist. It's important to note that many of these issues can overlap or co-occur and early intervention is crucial in addressing these problems. If you suspect that a child is experiencing psychological difficulties, seeking the help of a mental health professional or therapist is advisable. Treatment opinions may include therapy, medication or a combination of both depending on the specific diagnosis and individual needs. Thanks for watching, stay tuned, see you in the next video.